Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Mr.3D. Today I have something really exciting to share with you. The brand new Surface Imperfections Asset Pack. It is made available by the Fox at B production. If you are a 3D artist, which I assume you are, and if you are looking to add that extra layer of realism to your renders, you really need to bear with me. So if you click on the link I have given in the description, it will take you to the Realistic Touch Surface Imperfections page where you can see that it includes over 200 4K and seamless textures. Among these textures, you will find styles such as fingerprints, dust, scratches, grunge, smear and much more. These surface imperfections aim to replicate genuine details from the real world, adding much needed realism to your 3D scenes. And the best thing is you can apply these with a single click. Stick around as we dive into Blender to see how this works. So here I have opened a scene in which I have a plane with a simple material and a basic HDRI. Once you have the pack, extract it somewhere on your PC. Now I'm going to go over to edit, preferences, under file paths, click on this plus icon and paste the path wherever you have extracted it. I have mine right here. So after that, click on save preferences and then close preferences. By the way, if you guys like custom Blender themes, then I do have a True Dark themes pack. The link to it is also going to be in the description. So right here, I'm in the shader editor and this window is the asset browser. And from here, you have to select that realistic touch asset library that you just added. So here you can see all these different types of the imperfections you will be getting. Now we'll go through few of these because I want to make this video as short as possible. So first thing I'm gonna do is change my viewport to rendered mode and I'm also going to change my render engine to EV. It's just for preview and after that you can turn to cycles if you want to or you can stick with EV. Alright, to get started you can choose any texture you want from all of these categories and the one I'm going to use is the fingerprints category first. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag the fingerprint 8 into the shader editor. And then what you have to do is you have to plug that result into the roughness of the principal shader and it's not working perfectly. That's because we also have to give the UV coordinates from this texture coordinate. So click and drag right here into the vector and here you can see that we have the fingerprints right here. And here you can also see the customizable parameters. So here you have A and B, the black will be where there's no roughness and the white will be the roughness. If you like to control how rough you want, you can do that right here. And you can also use this minimum and the maximum just like that. Then you have the brightness, you can change the contrast of the texture and you can invert it. So basically you can make a lot of cool stuff out of it. You can increase the scale or decrease the scale depending on what you want and the location, rotation. And this is very basic. So if you want to level up a bit, then what you can do is you can mix two or more materials together to get the result and the dynamicness you want for your scene. So I will also add uh, liquid stains here. Maybe this one will work. I will click and drag it right here. And I will also give the UE coordinates to this texture. And you can see that if I plug this into the roughness, it's just replacing it. To mix these together, all you have to do is press shift A, add mix color. Place it right here and then take that result and put it right here. Just like that. And now you can see that we have combined both of these textures into one. And you can control the factor of the material from here. This is on mix. You can also click on this to change it to add. So this will add the stains material on top of fingerprints material. So the higher you go, the more it's going to add the lower material. And of course you can control how you want it to look. And you can see right here the quality of the textures. These will be really helpful for you to add extra realism to your objects because everything in real life is not perfect. And now I'm also going to change it to cycles. I went through few of these in this video but I think you get the idea on where to use these, how these work, so on and so forth. As you can see here, using these textures is really going to make your renders as realistic as possible. Just imagine if you were to find textures like these one by one on Google, it would be a nightmare for you, consuming a lot of your precious time. And there you have it, this Surface Imperfections Asset Pack is a must have for any 3D artist looking to elevate their work. 
It's an investment in realism and attention to detail that will set your renders apart. If you have any questions, please share them all in the comments below. That's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.